Hey, what's going on, guys? I uh, wanted to show you guys a, a cool little tool that I wrote. Well, what I think is a cool little tool that I wrote um, to help me get after some day-to-day uh, -day task at work. Um, if you've been following me for a minute, you know that I'm a huge, huge, huge supporter of uh, Python. And I try to incorporate it into my daily workflow um, or pretty much anything that I do as much as possible. So in this particular case, um, I'm not going to go into much of what I do for work, but part of it is I'm responsible for auditing. And you know, there's a lot of there's a lackluster of tools that are out there out there that are available, and most of the stuff is systems focused. So us as network engineers, we have to get really creative, whether it's doing tickle scripts or you know writing um, a bunch of show commands that have specific include or section um, regex uh, searches. Um, like I said, it gets very uh, you get very creative. Um, when you have to get after certain tasks that certain tools that you may have available might not be able to do so straightforwardly. I know that's not a word, but anyway. So um, this particular tool, um, I built in two functions in it so far, two main functions in it. One of it is to allow me to do um, some dynam dynamic discovery based off of a network subnet. And then another one that allows me to actually go in and do a configuration check. Um, based off of a host file that comes out of my network discovery. Then I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I'll walk you through one of the functions. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the script. It's nothing really. Pro there's nothing proprietary in, in here at all. But um, just for the sake of, you know, I don't want anybody to know exactly how I get after some of the stuff that I do. But particularly for the discovery function. So if I go back to the command line, you can see that I have this di discovery flag here. Um, what this does is in the script. I'll we'll just go to the main, and this allows me to actually run the main, uh, run the main script, hit this flag, and it'll look for that flag. If it's run, it'll actually run this discovery function. And the name of this function, what it does is, I have a uh, a class called Marco Polo, and I know a uh, unique, right? But what Marco Polo does is, based off of a uh, input of a subnet IP address, I'm able to go in and actually do uh, a network scan. So what this does is that instead of me getting like say that I get a slash 24 instead of you know scanning 255 address or 252 addresses and not uh, getting um, any result or I'm sorry yeah not getting any results back or whatever or really I know I'm saying 252 but essentially instead of having the script go through 255 addresses I can actually go through and do a scan and make sure that specific IPs within that subnet are alive and then actually run my scans on that uh, run my actual checks on that um, so it saves CPU time saves resources um, just a lot a lot of time savings um, so and then in the process it actually generates a CSV file that I'm able to run my uh, audits against um, later on so just show you guys how this works let me pull up uh, uh, Marco Polo so I'll just do Python main discovery. As you can see, it's going to take a little second to run. I have it going over a network share, so sometimes this. Uh, let's see. Looks like it wants a surprise. There it goes. So it runs uh, the script there, and just a little splash screen. And so it, you know, it tells me to provide the subnet range that I would like to scan. So what I'll do is I'll put in the subnet that I want to scan. I'm gonna do my home network, and I'm just gonna put it down to eight addresses, um, just for the sake of the video. So it'll go through. Um, I have input validation, so it'll make sure that I'm supplying an actual good subnet address. Once I do that, I'll put the name of the site that I'm discovering. So I'll just say home, home net, uh, home net. And you can see it's actually going through and telling me the status of each host as it goes through and checks. So discovered, failed, discovered, failed. And then based off of that, if I go back into this folder, you see here discovered active hosts. And it'll give me a list of, a list of actual 
IPs that were up and then it'll show me the list of IPs that are down um, like I said it's nothing too tricky but um, then I can actually take this file move it into this host files folder and then I can actually run my individual audits on um, just uh, yeah so I just wanted to show you guys how that works and some of the cool things that you can do with Python I know Marco Polo is a <laughs> not so unique name but I thought it was uh, necessary for this particular tool but um, yeah if you guys have any questions let me know um, once I uh, get some clearing I'll possibly share it with the share it with you guys on the github but until then um, let me know if you have any questions and I can give you some tips on how you can get after some automating task of your own alright thanks again